All right, on this video, I'm going to go through writing electron configurations, and we're going to go through the first 11 atoms on the periodic table. On this screen, I can't put the periodic table up here, but what I have put is the filling order, which is one of the slides in this PowerPoint. So you can see we go 1s, then we do the 2s, then the 2p, then the 3s, the 3p, and the 4s. There's going to be a couple of videos here, so I'm just going to do this one first. Uh, and so we're going to start with hydrogen. And remember from the previous slide, I'm going to do an electron configuration. I'm going to circle the valence. Remember, the valence is the outermost energy level. Then I'm going to do an orbital diagram and a Lewis dot structure. So we're going to start with hydrogen. Oops, let's get it on draw. Right, hydrogen has one electron. And that's because it's number one on the periodic table. And you can think of it like you're keeping track of people in a hotel where everyone is. So hydrogen walks into the bar, or into the hotel, excuse me, and says, I'd like my own room on the first floor. And uh, the innkeeper says, okay, off you go. And so we're going to put one electron in the 1s orbital. We don't usually write a 1 as a superscript, right? So this is the electron configuration of hydrogen. Remember, I'm circling the valence. The orbital diagram, that's the stuff with the dashes and the, or the arrows, one electron. And hydrogen is going to have one dot. Put a star by hydrogen because we're going to come back to that. All right? So you're keeping track of all the all the electrons. All right. Now we're going to do a helium, the element you use if a man dies, or if a man is sick. Excuse me. You try to helium. Helium has two electrons. You get that from the periodic table. So then the configuration is going to be one s two. That's still the valence. So then the 1s orbital, remember when you have two electrons in the same orbital, they have opposite spins. When you have one by itself, it doesn't matter if it's spin up or spin down. You can have the arrow down if you want. All right, helium will have two dots. Now, textbooks are going to disagree with me on this. It doesn't matter where you put the dots. I think of it as left, right, top, bottom. Um, but think of it going 1, 1, 1, 1, and then start pairing. So I got one dot, and I'll put the other dot here. Again, it doesn't really matter where they go, but it's better not to pair them at first. All right, next one is lithium. Put a star by lithium. All right, three electrons. I'm just going in order. So now we go 1s2. And remember, you guys can hit pause at any time here if it's going too quickly for you or if you want to stop and think about it. Um, now, there's three electrons in lithium, but the 1s is filled with two. So after the 1s, we go to the 2s. And remember, the valence is the outermost energy level, so that's anything with the coefficient, the highest coefficient. Remember, the coefficient is the energy level. So the 1s is in the first energy level, the 2s is in the second. So the electron configuration is 1s2, 2s. The valence is 2s. The orbital diagram is going to be 2s and then 1s, like this. And then we have 2 in the 1s and 1 in the 2s. And then lithium is going to have how many dots? If the choices are 1, 2, or 3. Remember, the Lewis dot structure is 1 dot per valence electron, so there's only one valence electron, so lithium will have 1 dot. I'll draw just some lines here to separate these a little bit for you guys. Let's take a bad drawing and make it worse. All right, next one is beryllium. So the ones with the stars, we're going to come back to those later. There'll be a different video. Okay, lithium, ber beryllium, excuse me, is 1s2, 2s2. So the orbit, the valence is still the 2s. The orbital diagram will be like this. I do them out vertically. Textbooks, I'll tend to do them horizontally just because it fits better in a textbook. And the beryllium will have two dots. I'm putting them in different places just to show you that it doesn't matter where they go. All right. Next one is boron. And you can keep track. You can start singing along if you know the words like karaoke. So 1s2, there's five electrons. 2s, do we do 2s3? No, because the S's can only hold two. So if you want to review the slides, you can do that. So 2S2, so the next one goes in the 2P. Now, the valence, remember valence is not the outermost orbital, it's the outermost energy level. So you look at the coefficient only, so everything with the two in front of it. So the valence is 2S2, 2P. 
Remember the 2p, though there's only one electron in it, you want to show that it has three orbitals. And so then we have 1s2, 2s2. These three p orbitals, hang on a second, I'll make them prettier. The three p orbitals, remember p's, the p sublevel has three orbitals, are all equivalent in energy. So it doesn't really matter where you put the one electron. Then how many dots will boron have? And the answer is it's going to have three dots because there's three valence electrons. All right, let's move along to carbon. Okay, carbon is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. The valence is still the 2s and the 2p. Right, the 2p, 2s, and the 1s. So 1s2, 2s2. And then remember, this is where we see that we don't pair them until we have to. So we would not put 2 here, spin up, spin down. We're going to go 1, 1, 1, and then start pairing them. So carbon is going to have how many dots? Right? There's going to be four dots. So again, the valence is not the 2p, it's the set, it's 2. All right, I'm going to go over to here so I can get a lot of this on one screen and then I'll erase these. All right, after carbon, we're going to go to nitrogen. Just to help you keep track, nitrogen has seven electrons. All right? Hit pause, try it on your own. If you're back from pause, I'm going to go ahead and go through it. 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. The valence is the 2s and the 2p. The orbital diagram, I'll try to squeeze it in here. Now I'm doing is I'm following this pattern. Right? 2s, 1s. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video. And remember, they're all singles. A little detail. Typically, we whatever, if you have them spin down or spin up, they're going to have what are called parallel spins. Now, nitrogen is going to have five electrons in the valence because three plus two is five. So you can go one, two, three, four, five. Another way to make it a little cleaner is you can have a dash equal to two dots. So that means two electrons. Just a little cleaner that way. Right? So you can write it either way, it doesn't matter. Right? Next one is oxygen. Oxygen has eight electrons. So it's going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. The valence will be the 2s and the 2p. Like this. This will be the orbital diagram. Now we're going to start pairing in the 2p. So again, there's two things that work against each other. The electrons want to be as close to the nucleus as possible, right, to minimize the, the plus minus. That's why you can fill the 1s first. But they want to be as far away from each other as possible. That's why we don't pair them until we have to. Then oxygen is going to have 4 plus 2, 6 valence electrons. So you can write it as dash, dash, dot, dot. Right? Fluorine, I'm just going across the first and second row of nine electrons. Right? So, like I said, following the pattern 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. The valence again will be the 2s and the 2p. So, again, you look at the coefficient. Whatever the highest coefficient is, everything with that coefficient will be in the valence. So we have 2 in the 1s, 2 in the 2s, and then this has 5, 1, 2, 3, 
four, five. And then Florian is going to have how many dots? I'm listening. All right, seven. Two, four, six, seven. All right, I'm going to do a couple more. Let me just get to the eraser. Give you a moment. But you can stop at any time. Let's just erase this side. Whoops. <coughs> I'm going to do <coughs> two more. Then I'm going to give you three to try on your own. And then that'll be the end of this video, but then we'll do some other stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, after fluorine, we go to neon. It's an E, 10 electrons. And I'm getting the 10. It's the same as the atomic number, even though the atomic number is the number of protons. Right? But the protons and electrons are the same. So it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. There's your valence. The orbital diagram look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then neon will have two, four, six, eight. And again, where I'm getting the eight <coughs> is I add up the superscripts. So remember from a couple slides back, the superscripts are the number of valence are the number of electrons. And then I'm gonna have you put a star by this one. So we'll get back to the ones with the stars. We're not gonna do it in this particular video, but there will be another video. Okay. Sodium is number 11, 11 electrons. So where does the 11th electron go? 1s2, 2s2, 2p is filled with 6. Remember, p's can only hold, they have three orbitals, and there's only two electrons in an orbital. So the p sub level, so it can only be 6, but that's only 10. After the 2p, where do we go? We go to the 3s. So then it'll be 3s. Okay, now what's the valence going to be? That's right, the valence is now the 3s. You just look at the coefficient. And so then we're going to have, just to draw it, we have the 3s, and the s's only have one dash, the 2p, the 2s, and the 1s. Like that. Orbital diagram. And one there. And then how many dots will this have? Think about it for a second. That's right, it's going to have one dot. All right, so there's the first 11. Now I'm going to give you a couple more to try, just on your own. All you need to do is follow this pattern. All right, so let me give you a moment. You can hit pause, but I'm going to erase the whole screen. So you ready? Clear all. All right, so we're going to try. We're going to do, I'm going to let you try sulfur, which has 16 electrons. We'll do iron, which has 26 electrons. Then we're going to do arsenic, which has 33 electrons. So hit pause right now. Try these on your own. All right, hit pause, try them on your own. I'm going to count to five. All right, you ready? You're back from pause. Did you try them? How'd you do? All right, so sulfur, we're just going to follow this pattern. So you have to keep track. So we just go 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Okay, that's 10, right? 6, 8, 10. Just keeping track. After the 2p, we go to the 3s, 3s2, so that's 12. And then after the 3s, we go to the 3p, it's 12. We have 16, so it's going to be 3p4. The valence will be the 3s and the 3p. The orbital diagram, 3p, 3s, 2p, 2s, 1s, 1, 1, 3 for the P's, 1, 
and three. Whoops, I went five. I went too far. Dot. Okay, and then one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, three, four. And then the Lewis dot structure is going to have six electrons. So two, four, five, six. Get it? All right, now let's do iron. Iron has 26. What a pain. I'm going to show you some shortcuts in the next videos. 2s2, 2p6. Okay, that's 10. 3s2, 3p6. That's 18, right? So we're at 3p. So after the 3p, what do we do? We go to the 4s. Okay, that's 20. After the 4s, we go to the 3d. And there's 3d, can hold 10, but just 3d6. Now, this one's a little tricky. What's the valence? It's not the highest energy orbital or sublevel, it's the energy level. So the valence is the 4s. I'm just going to draw the top of this. I'm not going to go all the way down to the 1s. 4s, oops, excuse me, screwed up again, my bad. I always just go in the order. So 3D, 4S, I'll just go down 3P, 3S. We'll just do that part of it. Ds have five. So the D sublevel has five orbitals. The Ps have three. Again, well, I'll just do it 2P, 2S, 1S. A lot of arrows. Three P six, four S two, and then three D six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the Lewis dot structure is going to have only two dots. All right, so that one's a little bit tricky because we the three D fills after the four S. Right, I'm going to erase part of this, just the bottom of this, because I need the space. Let's just get rid of this part. I can move that arrow up. All right, last one we'll do for this video, and then we'll talk about the ones with the, the other stuff, the ones with the stars. All right, so try arsenic on your own. Okay, so arsenic has 33. So obviously, it's going to be 1s2, 2s2. 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, that gets us to 18, 4s2, okay, that's 20. Again, where did I get that? 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, 20. So after the 4s, we go to the 3d. 3d can hold as many as 10, and we'll put 10 in here. Now, why was it only 3d6 here? Because we only had six more electrons. So now we're at 30. After the 3D, what do we do? We go to the 4P, and we're going to put 3 in the 4P. Now, what's the valence for this one? Okay, the valence is tricky, but the valence, again, we look at the coefficient. So the valence is the 4S and the 4P. The 3D is not part of the valence. So if you want to make it prettier, the valence is going to be 4S2. 4p3. So you just follow this pattern over here. That's all you need to be able to do is follow this pattern for right now. I'm going to show you, I'll show you some tricks later. All right? So as soon as you just find the highest coefficient, everything with that coefficient. The orbital diagram, I'll just do the top of it. So we'll do the 4p, the 3d, and the 4s. That's enough. Get the idea? One, two, da, da, da. and it's 4p3. All right, 
And then the Lewis dot structure is going to have how many dots? Well, it looks like, it looks like we're going to have five. So two, three, four, five. All right, so what I've shown you is we've done uh, 14 of these, right? We did the first 11 and then these three. And so at this point, you should be able to follow this pattern and come up with electron configurations for anything. Be careful about looking things up because there are some that don't follow the, the pattern. But in Chem 152, everything follows the pattern. So if you look up something and it seems weird, in this class, everything follows the pattern. All right, I'm going to stop this video here, and we'll do some more with this. I'll show you how to get this from the periodic table. I'll show you some shorthand notation, but one thing at a time. All right, so practice this stuff. This is a lot of the material on homework six.